Greetings everyone and welcome yet again to another episode of Ronin TV. I'm Chunga along with Chandler. Hello. Shannon. Hi. And today we are in Caesar's Palace, the yes. beautiful Caesar's Palace. Uh, so excited because we're doing something today that we've been trying to do since we moved to Vegas about six months a ago. A long time, yeah. There's a brand new buffet in Caesar's Palace called Bacchanal. Uh -huh. And I think Bacchanal's been around for a while, but they just remodeled it. It's, it's they've redone everything. Food, it, it looks great. Everything's new. Yeah. And there's a huge buzz around it. In fact, the buzz is so strong, we've tried three different times to get in and have been kicked out every Turned time. Away. Turned away. Yeah. Can't get into Bacchanal. So today we have reservations. We're gonna meet up with our friends Chris and Brent too. Yeah. They're in town. They've come into Vegas for a wedding. So we said, hey, look, let's let's uh, grab a reservation at Bacchanal. So excited. Thankfully, Bren was able to do this months ago <laughs> right. uh, because it, it takes months to get in. Exactly. And we're going to decide if it is indeed the best buffet in Las Vegas. It's a rumor. It's a rumor. My money's on Wicked Spoon still. Yeah. I'm still a Wicked Spoon guy, but let's go try it out, shall yes. we? Yes. Caesar's Palace. So much history in Caesar's Palace. That's no joke. I find it interesting that Miley Cyrus is the lead off picture, though. <laughs> And there's Sammy. So many famous people have played here. I love that they picked the best picture of Tom Hanks I think I've ever seen. Uh huh. He's just highly, like, he's just Stop highly it. confused. Stop it. Stop he, it. He woke up seven minutes ago. And Rita Wilson's like, yes, I'm rich. <laughs> yes, I'm, th I'm that rich. All right, which one of these two is actually happy to be in this picture? <laughs> which one's Johnny Depp? Which one? <laughs> which one's Johnny Depp? Which one looks like Johnny Depp, and which one looks like she'd be stealing eggs out of your backpack to go wash them in the river? <laughs> I love the way Wayne Newton one actually looks like a plastic caricature of Wayne Newton. Yeah, that's not that's not actually Wayne Newton, I don't think. <laughs> Who is that? I think I think it's Wax Wayne. Wax Wayne. It's, it's Wax Wayne Newton, Newton from uh, from Madame Tussauds. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so much. The Bradley Cooper's wise, I guess. There's oh, one that's... there, and there's another one somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's oh, the other man. one? At? There's another one. The I Hangover. Somewhere. Yeah. What a great movie. No, where, where's the other one? Oh, there he is, at the bottom. Bradley Cooper, there's two. Bradley Cooper there. Here's Tiesto, and oh man, yeah. I don't know who that is. <laughs> All right, Caesars. Let's go eat. This is Bacchanal, the Bacchanal buffet. I'm excited. It's cool. It's gonna be cool. Uh, this is the hottest spot in Caesars, and actually, it's it's really the hottest spot in Vegas yeah. to eat. Reservations need to be made months in advance. We try to walk up twice, yeah. two or three times. Yes. And we've been turned away every single time. Yes. So, you know, we finally were able to make it in, which is awesome. Yeah. So we've met up with Brent and Chris, who have just made a mad dash from the Venetian. <laughs> And you made it in time for the reservation. Two minutes okay. spare. Congratulations. I'm not sure that's worth congratulating, but thanks anyway. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, burned so, 79 calories. Yeah. That should take you burned 79 time. calories running from Venetian to here. Hey. Yeah. Wow. 17 minutes of exercise ring color. That's great. <laughs> that's great. For Perfect for buffet. Uh, so the buffet here, uh, as I was saying, is gorgeous. If you look at the decor, yeah. this is one of, if not the most beautiful place to eat in all of Las Vegas. As I was saying, very exclusive. Uh, we're here for breakfast, brunch. Yeah. For yeah, brunch. For, for I'm right, guessing. Brent, no. <laughs> uh, and uh, and Brent, you made these reservations what weeks ago, right? Uh, months ago. Months ago. Yeah. Months ago. So uh, if you're coming to Vegas and you want to go to Bacchanal, please take our word for it. We have been turned away many times. <laughs> However, there's a secret. But well, yes. Mary Bren. <laughs> or Mary Bren. <laughs> but there is a secret beyond that, and that is when you come to Bacchanal. They'll turn you away and ask if there's a lockup list and they'll say it's hours long. And you say, okay, put us on the list anyway. Go to the forum shops, look at the Nikes, look at Louis Vuitton. You're gonna make it, oh, I don't know, maybe an hour before they call you. Yeah, two hours is max. About two, two hours. hours max. Yeah. So. We've had that happen both times, but we've been turned away and then we just panic and go to Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do this. Uh, Bacchanal, like I said, is very shishi. Very fancy. Oh, crab legs. There's massive crab legs back there. Yeah, it's cool. It's a. Uh, 
I feel like I should be in here in like a, a Tom Ford suit or something. Right. And I'm just in my neon. <laughs> I mean, that's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> eh, eh, eh. <laughs> yeah. We are in. In Bacchanal. Look at this, look at this. Look at the glass work here. Ah, it's just incredible. These guys aren't even waiting. Like, Bren and Chandler, they're all, they're gone. They just made tracks. Okay, look at this food. Pork belly, prime rib, turkey, ham, chicken. Oh, man. Look at all that roast. Dude, it's like, it's like Thanksgiving in here. That's a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat. Seriously. Yeah. On the cob. They have corn on the cob. Well, Shannon's happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is just amazing in here. How pretty it is. Too. It's very pretty. You're playing some chill music overhead. One of the things that I love the most about Vegas is that you can come to a place like this that is very fancy, but everybody's like in t shirts. Right. Yeah. You know? Some people are in uh, coats and jackets. It's a little chilly outside. Hoodies. But for the most part, people are just uh, here to enjoy their day. They're just walking down from the hotel. So we just walked through one row of the, uh, you see the corner of the cob turning back there for reference. <laughs> we thought that was it and there's a whole other. We, yeah, we thought that's all there was and look at this. Oh my gosh. We have a brick oven for pizzas. Look at this over here Chandler, check this out. Go Raiders! All right. Lasagna, garlic bread. Look at that pizza. Shannon is going to freak <laughs> out. Oh my gosh. All kinds of desserts. Oh, a cheese board. We got a cheese. We got a charcuterie. Wow. Look at that charcuterie. Wow. Oh man. Cheese board, a charcuterie board. Look at the pretzel. Pretzel bread. Smoothies, Caesar salad, big bowl of jalapenos. <laughs> it goes and it goes and it goes and it goes. Look at this. That's a whole pig. That's a pig's head right there. That's that's how fancy this is. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Lots of sushi. Sushi. Looks great. Edamame. I don't know. I'm still leaning towards King Buffet, but <laughs> oh, don't you dare. This is pretty cool. So we've got Asian, Asian cuisine. Man, it just goes forever. They've got pot stickers, they've got shrimp, they've got pork buns. Egg rolls, spring broccoli, rolls. Fried rice, bang bang shrimp. Wow. Well, we're staying here for like eight hours. Yeah, this is, this is cool. Okay, so we're just sitting down, we've got our Cokes. We're all excited to go. Uh, Brent and Chris have just returned from Disneyland. It was a very profitable trip. They brought Chandler a, uh, a mystery box. Yeah, look at Batu. this. As yeah. everyone knows, I'm really into pin trading now. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's very cool. Okay, now Chris, you had something very, very exciting happen. Yeah. I, I thought I bought a red kyber crystal from uh, Doc Ongar's... Uh... A red Sith kyber crystal. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to find the black one forever. Everyone is trying to find the black one They're forever. extremely rare. rare. Yeah. The rumor is one in a hundred. I've heard that it's one in a thousand. I've heard one in a thousand. That's yeah. what I've heard. It's very rare. So as luck would have it. No. No way. <laughs> and it even comes you with got a little black one. kidding me. And it even comes with a little. Oh, those little... You can see that. Maybe you can read that one out. Yeah. The yeah what does it say, Joe? Uh, let's see. Today you have found something truly special. This small fragment of obsidian is infused with the power of the dark side. Nice! When placed inside a lightsaber or a holocron, this rare fragment with urine... Uh, urine? Your natural. Your natural, oh, okay, yeah. Your urine. It's very small. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Unnatural powers mined from the dark side uh, shrine who have similar properties as a red kyber crystal. Okay, so... It's red? It is what red. I actually, I actually put it into uh, one of the, uh, you know, the savage. My, my savage is the only one I've got works uh -huh. in lightsaber. Yeah. And it is so loud and so mean sounding. And it's a really, really dark red. So, so it's a different color red, red and it's, it's, a, it's louder. Oh. It's really loud. Um, so it's not even, so for the 
Star Wars nerds that are probably not watching this because we're doing a buffet video. <laughs> yes. Um, but for, for, our, for our Star Wars fans, it's not a kyber crystal, it's an obsidian stone yeah. in views of the dark side of the yeah. Force. Yeah. So, 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 unreal. so okay. virtually unintelligible little things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Small that no, no, no wonder you were having such a hard time with it. Boy, three years old, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. We've had our fun to be nerds. Yeah, let's go eat some food. Let's eat. All right. Okay, so we're just sitting down. Brent is taking off her mask. Chandler's taking off his mask. Uh, we've each gone for different things here. So let's start <laughs> with Bren. Shannon and Chris are still looking, but you've gone with the breakfast uh, yeah, stuff so to start. Yeah, so I kind of went with both. So I've got a truffle egg bite. Apparently. Oh, nice. Wow. Truffle egg white. Egg bite? Egg or? bite, I think. Okay, oh, nice. all right. The chicken and waffles could not yeah. be passed Yeah, mini up. chicken and waffles, <laughs> which <laughs> looks so fantastic. So cute, except for that pickle, which will be... I know that. Pickles, are, pickles no. are ew. Ew. Um, okay. And then we have prime rib. And it looks delightful. Hash browns. Hash browns. Hash browns. Hash and and mashed cheddar and cheddar dried mash. mashed potatoes yeah. and breakfast sausage. So you got you got some bangers and mash, basically. <laughs> yeah, I got bangers and mash. Yeah, okay. It, he's right. rubbing off on me. Fair enough. Chris is rubbing off on Bren. Okay, so Chandler, what did you get? So I went with breakfast pizza. So it's so hash browns, this? bacon, and eggs on on pizza. Hash brown, bacon, eggs on uh, pizza. Uh, yeah, I'm which gonna sounds have to great. Do that for and sure. then one piece of garlic bread because it's meat. Garlic bread. Right? Um, a couple pieces of I'm from the charcuterie. Assorted meat. I don't know what yeah, that is. Okay. A cheddar garlic roll. Okay. And then again. And you did the uh, mini but chicken and waffles. Get, get, as well. get that pickle out of there. Pickles are ew. gross. If you know anything about me. Whenever there is seafood, that's where I'll go first. So I've started with crab claws, yeah, and some jumbo shrimp, and the crab look claws look delightful. I can't find a crab cracker, so I'm hoping that I have the upper body strength to just kind of crack <laughs> these open and go to town. And uh, I want Shannon and Chris. They're taking a long time. I wonder if they made omelets or something. I think they might have. Yeah. Do right. they? I did they ask? thought about it for a second, but there was so much else to look at. I was like, I'm not going to fill up on on, a, on an omelet. Yeah, I, I that's saw what Chris I did and too. He was just like walking in circles. He didn't know where to go. There, there's so many options. He's like, oh, I don't know. Uh, this entire facility is bordered by buffet. Uh, yeah. So exactly. it's huge. Uh, I think we're just getting started here. I'm afraid I've grabbed too many of one thing. Okay, now Shannon has returned. Oh, she did get an omelet. I did the omelet. Yeah, it looks really good. Oh yes. my gosh. So what's in it? It's what did you get? Bacon and cheese. Bacon oh, wow. and cheese. And then look really? at my little okay. chicken and waffles. That's we so all got that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, except pickles are ill. Uh, and some bacon. <laughs> nice. I didn't even see the bacon. Yeah. You got some tortellini. You're, you're just sampling yep. all kinds of stuff. And a little like yogurt. Cheese. And a little tiny yogurt. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, so for some of you, you're gonna laugh at this. And I would salute you for it. I, I know how dumb this is. But this lemon. <laughs> is like the freshest lemon I've ever. But no, that's 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 an indicator, no, right? When big, you're when you're big. in a restaurant, that's an indicator is how fresh the lemon is. The lemon is so fresh, it was I just did a squeeze, and like the whole place smells like lemon. <laughs> Which is great if you love lemon. If you don't, it's a thing. But man, I'm excited. Okay, Chris has made it back. You went my route. Like yeah, I, I went straight for crab claws, uh, shrimp. jumbo shrimp, and the uh, um, like crab egg florentine. Egg. Yeah, crab oh, florentine. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. Is that like hollandaise on the top? It's hollandaise, yeah. it's oh, poached nice. egg, it's crab yeah. meat, it's spinach, and it's uh, an English muffin. Oh, the great. lower English part. Yeah. Of muffin, so. <laughs> well, I'm happy to report I've tried a crab claw and two shrimp, and the crab claws are fantastic. Mm. The shrimp is fantastic. Oh, yeah. I know, it's, it's, that's the number one thing I wanted, and I'm like, yeah. I know if I get that first, that's the only thing I'm going to eat. So I'm like, I'm going to taste myself. I promise you, it's the only thing yeah. you're going to eat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the food so far, I'm absolutely destroying my crab. You can see if I can get it to focus. Crab is uh, is being consumed. Chandler's mm -hmm. making headway. Bren yep. is going to town. <laughs> yeah. And she just told us uh, while we weren't recording, she said, I'm going to be so sad in a couple of minutes because you can see how much food is over there. I'm going to be full. And you're going to be full. Uh -huh. When you come to Bacchanal, you've got to choose wisely what you eat. So how's uh, how's your food been, Chris? Seafood's been phenomenal. Yeah? Great, 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 great. Shrimp's great. Lots of flavor. You know, we're going to move on to the, uh, the crab quarantine next. <laughs> nice. Okay. Then it's on to the chicken and waffles. Because apparently they're awesome. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Chen? It's the best buffet in Vegas. I see. You say it's the best buffet in Vegas. Better I than Wicked Spoon? You love the Wicked Spoon. I like this. I think it's It's amazing. Okay, so how much is it to eat here? What, like 50, 55 a person? 55 a person. Okay, so some of you will remember back. This is this is brunch. Dinner, I think, is about $20 more. Okay. Okay. 
Some of you will remember that uh, we, we ate at the MGM buffet not too long ago, the MGM Grand. Yeah. That was $45. $10 <laughs> more and it's a, I'm just gonna say, it's a far better buffet. Well listen, the MGM is great. It's great, but this is better. This is better. It's a lot better. And yeah. it's a lot more fancy. Bigger variety. And yeah, and uh, for 55 bucks, uh, it's a steal for what you're getting for $55. I mean, yeah, it's not cheap, right? 55 bucks is a lot of money for yeah. anything, right? But even like compared to like Wicked Spoon, which we love, yeah. Yeah. this is cheaper than Wicked Spoon, and I think the food's a little bit better. Yeah, be okay. It's way more food service stations. There's, yeah, more it's options. Twice the size from the, yeah, 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 for, for sure. Spoon. Yeah, easily. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I decided to go sample some other things, and what I got in return was Thanksgiving dinner. So, uh, I don't know if you can tell how big this is, but this is a piece of smoked brisket and it's <laughs> massive. Wow. All right, you know, That's easily like a $20 meal if you go to a barbecue place. <laughs> a, a pretzel thing, a pretzel roll, a piece of cheese from the cheese board, some bacon, and look at this. I, I, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get a fork so that I'm not. This is oven roasted turkey and they gave me, I, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they gave me like a whole side of the turkey. <laughs> That's easily like I don't know if you can tell, but look at how much turkey this is. It's like four pounds of turkey. It's Thanksgiving dinner, and then some hash browns right in the middle. It is breakfast pizza. My buffet is over. There is no way. Look how much. Look how much turkey they gave me. God bless you. Are you kidding me? This is like a whole. They gave me a whole breast of like. They pulled out a turkey and cut off the whole side of it. You did good. You went over for some. Uh, I I got some. Yeah, some crab. I got another chicken and waffles because that's amazing. You double I, got, dipping. I got another breakfast pizza because yes. it was amazing. Yeah. And then some sausage. Yeah. Okay. All right. And Bren, what did you do here? I got birthday cake pancakes. No. <laughs> nice. What? Red velvet waffles. <laughs> and on what? Chandler's recommendation, yes. the pizza. breakfast pizza. Breakfast pizza and crab. Yeah, yeah. and crab. So a little, you're eating a lot like Chandler. Actually. Yeah. So what's the difference between the with a red velvet waffle versus a regular waffle? The cola. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> There's no different taste to it. I don't think so. Okay. I've always wondered about that. It's not. Oh, it's not like the. It's not like you do in England. It's not like blood in it. Or something. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm happy at that blood pudding here. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't that be it. cool? Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen in Vegas, man. Is it? <laughs> probably. Certain things that even Vegas won't tolerate and blood pudding in London. <laughs> probably one of them. Okay, so you're back for round two. Yes. Uh, you got another chicken and waffle. This is. Really it's that good. Yes. We all got a second. We all got one. Wow. <laughs> okay, what else did you get? And some mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. These are mac and cheese wheels. Oh, cool. Who okay. doesn't want to try that? Yeah, sure. Um, this is called a Cleopatra salad. Cleopatra I salad. I don't know what it is. All right. And I got the margarita pizza. Margarita pizza. But. Yes, what? I need you to share your turkey with me. Why? Because we went over there. All that's left is the turkey carcass. They yeah. gave it all to you. <laughs> they gave me the. Chris and I ended up turkey left. I'm turkey less. It kind of looks like the turkey in Christmas vacation. <laughs> There's nothing over left. Like and it's just dry bones. You got the lung. Because I got all the turkey. Well, you can you can have like a whole side of my turkey. Okay, here, just you know, just um, let me hold on. I mean, look uh, how much turkey. <laughs> we can even share some with you. Chris. You and Chris can fight over it. Okay, there you go. Have you guys noticed that the minute you get a plate done, the minute you get done with one of your servings. The the bussers are here immediately. <laughs> it's almost it's like they're hiding around corners. All right, so we're just kind of going around and sampling things a little bit more of some things. You you got you got what did you get? Oh, you got another. <laughs> there, it's the best thing here. It is. Bren, Chandler, <laughs> Shannon are all saying that the yeah. the chicken and waffle is the best thing. Best here. thing here. Yeah. I um, you would agree with I that. Agree. Uh, I love the spice to it, but it is hands okay. down. Yeah. Best thing here. Really good. Uh, the stone crab, I'm gonna say, is the best thing here, but it's kind of hard to mess up stone crab, right? So you say that, but some buffets you go to, it kind of tastes like the like, crab flavored water filling. It's yeah. not, yes. It tastes like foam. Like there's yeah, not, not a lot. There's nothing to it. Yeah. It's yeah. genuinely flaky and tastes great. Yeah. 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 So everything here has been phenomenal. Has there been anything that was a miss? You didn't like your egg bite thing. I didn't like my little egg bite thing. It was fine. I uh -huh. just needed like something on it. There wasn't a whole lot of flavor to it. Right. Okay. 
Um, I don't know. I disagree a little bit with Chandler on the breakfast pizza. Oh, uh, you didn't like it? You, you didn't like the breakfast. And Chandler loved the breakfast loved pizza. Loved it. Uh, the breakfast sausage was okay. It was, uh, it was, it was pretty standard. But okay. Everything else has been like amazing. Yeah, sausage was so so. And then, uh, uh, the brisket was okay. Okay. But the prime rib was fantastic. So. Yeah. Prime rib. Okay, so the prime rib was up there. The turkey was, uh, for me, was right up there with it, the, because we got so much, um, was the best thing here. I mean, it's like neck and neck, but yeah, it, we all got turkey from that piece. Yeah. Okay, so for years, and really since it has opened, the Wicked Spoon at Cosmo has been the kind of the high watermark for, for me, for Chandler, for Shannon. Everything that we eat in Vegas is really kind of, how does it compare to Wicked Spoon? Exactly. Uh, Wicked Spoon's been open since I think 2010. Uh, my verdict is here about Bacchanal. Uh, we have a new king. Bacchanal beats Wicked Spoon. I agree more. It, it is the king. It's, it, it's, what do you guys think? I've only been to Wicked Spoon once. Yeah. Okay. Um, but comparing the two of them, like, this is... Yeah. It's better. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Food okay. Is better. It feels way more spaced out, and you can just walk up to the station. There's no lines. Yeah. Huge variety of food. Yeah. Too. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm on my third plate. I'm like, there's still like five more plates that I have to go get yeah. after this one. And, <laughs> and listen, no disrespect to Wicked Spoon. Wicked Spoon is phenomenal. It's really, really good. Um, there's still things I need to try. I haven't tried the bacon yet. You Shut have a whole up. Plate of bacon. I have not tried the bacon yet. <laughs> uh, as far as you know. I have not tried the bacon yet, <laughs> uh, but these these are really cool. Uh, they're called barbecue. What is it? Yeah, barbecue twister fries. Barbecue twister fries. I don't know what that means, but they look great. Uh, I'm gonna try it here, and we're just gonna. They're amazing. Are they? They're everybody. You all, you, you guys, all gotta go get some of these. Yeah, good. yeah they're really, really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then finally, I'm trying to save room. That's why there's nothing left but bacon. I'm trying to save room for this. Yes. What did I you went get? I the dessert. Okay, mini cheesecake. Look how cute it is. Wow. <laughs> I got this because I know Chunga will have to have one of these. Uh, I will actually. It's got sprinkles. If it has sprinkles on it, I don't care if it's a, like a, a, a dead possum on the side of the road. <laughs> if it has sprinkles, I'm eating it. This is a pumpkin oh. spice. Oh, oh nice. Pie. Okay. A moon pie. Very, very, very festive for the Banana holidays. Banana pie. This will probably Banana be my pie. favorite. Right. Yeah, and then, of course, just a, a Danish. All right, good. Well, you did good. All right, okay. The difference, the difference between Shannon, Chunga. <laughs> Chris made this observation a minute ago. Look at that bacon, though. Right now, you're sitting at home and you're hungry, and you should be. This is amazing. Chandler, I want to eat all the Asian food today. Yeah. On this, well, today on this, the third plate, it's a, it's a wagyu beef hot dog. A wagyu, beef wagyu, beef, hot dog. wagyu beef's like very she she, you know what I mean? It's very expensive. Oh yeah, cool. very very uh, very. This it's is bougie. bougie. It's bougie. It's a bougie hot dog. Yeah. Yes. This is the bang bang shrimp. Bang bang shrimp is amazing. And then California rolls, uh, spicy crunchy tuna rolls, which oh, are the best rolls tuna. ever. Yeah. And then some assorted cheeses. Some more cheeses. Yeah. We're not done. We're not done at the best buffet. Yeah. <laughs> We're no quitters. Round three. Yeah. Best buffet in Vegas. Wow. What a great way to have brunch. Uh, Bacchanal. This is uh, you know right outside of Bacchanal, but yeah, this is uh, man, it was fantastic. So much fun. So we good. had a great time. So best buffet in Vegas. Best buffet, yes. in, Vegas. Yeah. Best buffet in Vegas. Yeah. It's five out of five Elvis's. Hey, absolutely, man. absolutely. Well, I think that's probably good. I'm so cold. What are you doing? What are you hiding? <laughs> I may, I may have brought some dessert to go. Like, I don't think that? that's legal. But you stole a dessert. Yes, I stole a dessert. And you're standing there like a Disney princess, like you're ready to start singing a song. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, listen. That's that's pretty much going to do it for this one. Thanks, everybody. Give us a big like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Ring the notification bell so you don't even miss a minute of the fun. And check out the Radio Rona podcast, would you please? Do it. We do it twice a week, Monday and Thursdays, the Radio Rona podcast. We'd love for you to join us. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.